Microsoft's newest AI technology, People Lens, is helping blind people see. People Lens is a computer vision system that uses machine learning algorithms to help blind people engage with their social surroundings. People Lens was developed over two years by a team of Microsoft engineers and computer scientists. The aim was to create a machine learning system to help blind people navigate their social surroundings by identifying people and objects in photos. The team used a data set of images annotated with labels indicating the presence of people and objects. They then used these deep learning algorithms to train a computer vision model that could identify these labels in new images. People Lens firstly identifies people in a scene and then provides information about them, such as their name and position. The People Lens platform consists of a wearable device and a cloud-based service. The device captures images of the surrounding environments and sends them to the cloud-based service, where they are processed by the machine learning algorithms. This information is then used to generate descriptions descriptions of the surrounding environment sent back to the wearable device. The system can also identify different objects in a scene, such as a chair or table, and this information is conveyed to the blind person in a braille or audio form. Elric. People Lens has several benefits, including helping blind people to engage with their social surroundings, providing people with information that can be facial recognition, object recognition, or automatic speaker verification, acting as an open-ended AI system, which can be used for several different applications, and it's being consistently updated with new and improved features, such as navigation or identifying new objects. Finally, this technology could also help create more accessible buildings, products, and other environments. Ultimately, this technology's potential applications and benefits are limitless and represent a huge step forward in helping the blind see. Algorithm uses brain fingerprints to detect autism. The algorithm also successfully predicted severity of autism symptoms in individual people. With further honing, the algorithm could lead to early diagnosis, more targeted therapies, and broaden understanding of autism's origins in the brain. The algorithm pours over data gathered through functional magnetic resonance imaging scans that capture patterns of neural activity throughout the brain. By mapping this activity over time in the brain's many regions, the algorithm generates neural activity fingerprints. Although unique for each individual just like real fingerprints, the brain fingerprints nevertheless share similar features, allowing them to be sorted and classified. As described in a new study by Biological Psychiatry, the algorithm assessed brain scans from a sample of approximately 1,100 patients. With 82% accuracy, the algorithm selected a group of patients whom human clinicians had diagnosed with autism. In this new study, it was shown that the AI-driven brain fingerprinting model could potentially be a powerful new tool in advancing diagnosis and treatment. Unlike many other diseases, autism lacks objective biomarkers, which are telltale measurements that reveal a medical condition's presence and sometimes severity, meaning there is no simple test for the disorder. Instead, diagnosis is based on observing patients' behaviors, which are naturally highly variable and thus make diagnosis a challenge. Therefore, brain fingerprints get us one step closer. While scientists have long searched for biomarkers via functional magnetic resonance imaging scans, studies to date with small populations have reported conflicting results stemming from a natural variability in patients' brains and confounded further by differences in functional magnetic resonance imaging machines and testing methods. Like many scientific fields, autism research has embraced the big data approach where previously unobtainable insights emerge from analyzing large, statistically powerful samples. The new study is a case in point pooling brain scans from medical centers worldwide into a mammoth, demographically and geographically diverse data set. The next step was to effectively parse and deal with the data complexity and variability. The researchers thought a good place to start would be image recognition algorithms. These algorithms have grown increasingly sophisticated at handling significant degrees of variability in images they assess. A previous challenge had been that AI algorithms could be a black box where they couldn't explain where the accuracy of the algorithm came from. Researchers fashioned a simple mathematical model that assesses brain regional interactions and interconnectivity. In this manner, the explainable AI algorithm lit up three brain regions exhibiting significant differences in interconnectivity in the groupable portions of the dataset. Lending credibility to the explainable AI algorithm's findings, those three brain regions have been previously implicated in autism pathology. While the explainable AI algorithm performed admirably at this early stage of development, the researchers will need to improve its accuracy further still to raise brain fingerprinting to the level of a definitive biomarker. The researchers intend to explore the algorithm's efficacy in sibling studies, where one sibling has autism and the other does not, to hone the ability to detect fine-tuned yet critical differences between potentially very similar brains. They envision brain fingerprinting being used to assess the brains of very young children who are at high risk of developing autism. Earlier diagnosis is critical in achieving better outcomes, with therapies proving more effective when introduced while patients are still toddler age during the window of opportunity when interventions are maximally effective. AI tool accurately predicts tumor regrowth in cancer patients. 
Doctors and scientists have developed an artificial intelligence tool that can accurately predict how likely tumors are to grow back in cancer patients after they have undergone treatment. This breakthrough could revolutionize the surveillance of patients. While treatment advances in recent years have boosted survival chances, there remains a risk that the disease might come back. Monitoring patients after treatment is vital to ensuring any cancer recurrence is acted on urgently. Currently, however, doctors tend to have to rely on traditional methods including ones focused on the original amount and spread of cancer to predict how a patient might fare in the future. Now, a world's first study has identified a model using machine learning that can predict the risk of cancer coming back and do it better than existing methods. This is an important step forward in being able to use artificial intelligence to understand which patients are at highest risk of cancer recurrence and to detect this relapse sooner so that the retreatment can be more effective. It could prove vital in not only improving outcomes for cancer patients, but alleviating their fears with relapse being a key source of anxiety for many. The researchers behind this study hope to push the boundaries to improve the care of cancer patients to help them live longer and reduce the impact of the disease on their lives. The AI tool may lead to recurrence being detected earlier in patients deemed at high risk, ensuring they receive treatment more urgently, but it could also result in fewer unnecessary follow-up scans and hospital visits for those deemed low risk. Reducing the number of scans needed in this setting can be helpful and also reduce radiation exposure. In the retrospective study, doctors, scientists, and researchers developed a machine learning model to determine whether it could accurately identify non-small cell lung cancer patients at risk of recurrence following radiotherapy. Lung cancer is the leading worldwide cause of cancer death and accounts for just over a fifth of cancer deaths in the UK. The NSCLC makes up nearly five-sixths of lung cancer cases and when caught early, the disease is often curable. However, over a third of NSCLC patients experience recurrence in the UK. The researchers used clinical data from 657 NSCLC patients treated at five UK hospitals. They then added in data on various prognostic factors to better predict a patient's chance of recurrence. These included the patient's age, gender, body mass index, smoking status, the intensity of radiotherapy, and their tumor's characteristics. Researchers then used the AI model to categorize patients into low and high risk of recurrence, how long a period they might experience before a recurrence, and overall survival two years post-treatment. The tool was found to be more accurate in predicting outcomes than traditional methods. Right now, there is no set of framework for surveillance of non-small cell lung cancer patients following radiotherapy treatment in the UK. This means there is variation in the type and frequency of follow-up that patients receive using AI with healthcare data may be the answer. As this type of data can be accessed easily, this methodology could be replicated across different health systems. The study is an exciting first step towards rolling out a tool nationally and internationally to guide the post-treatment surveillance of cancer patients.